There are so many memorable things to do in Colorado in the winter, it can be hard to choose what to do. The winter season is all about the snowy weather and the beautiful lights, and nowhere does it more justice than Colorado. It's the perfect time of year to enjoy winter by skiing, snowshoeing, or tubing. But there are a lot more things to do in the winter than these common activities. Let's take a look at the absolute best things to do in Colorado in the winter. Snowshoeing. Colorado is known for its amazing and incredible hiking trail options, from flat cross-country paths to steep 14er hikes. However, when the ground is covered in loads of snow in the winter, it's the best time for snowshoeing. Colorado's rugged terrain and natural environments make for some of the best winter hiking trails. In the past few years, I have discovered snowshoeing as a winter activity and I absolutely love the experience. One of my favorite parts about snowshoeing is the ease of escaping somewhere completely secluded and quiet. When the trees and landscape surrounding you is covered in soft white powder, it only seems to heighten that feeling of solitude. But you have to be sure to wear comfortable shoes or hiking boots with plenty of warm clothes and lots of layers. Snowshoeing is especially great for small groups or families who want to avoid the ski crowds during the busy seasons. Natural Hot Springs when it's cold and snowy outside, one of the best things to do in winter is to soak in the natural mineral hot springs. Winter also has the added benefit of being the least busy season for getting in your bathing suit. I know, really big shock. And Colorado is home to some of the best hot springs in the country, many of which are just a few hours drive from the front range cities. Enjoy the hot bubbling water up from the small pools at Mount Princeton Hot Springs, move the rocks around to create your own little perfect pool in the river, or spend some time in the world's largest natural hot springs pool at Glenwood Hot Springs Resort and Spa. In just an hour or two drive from Denver, you can soak in a variety of hot natural spring waters. You can take just a day or spend an entire weekend while your stress simply melts away. And during the holiday seasons is an especially magical time for visiting any hot springs in Colorado. Take in the cool winter air and see the gorgeous twinkling lights display every evening. Horse-drawn sleighs. Another one of my favorite things to do in Colorado winter is to ride in a horse-drawn sleigh. Most Colorado ski towns offer sleigh rides in many different settings from groomed trails to rustic outdoor terrain. You can snuggle up next to your partner or family under a warm blanket with the crisp winter air in your face. Add on to your sleigh ride adventure with a romantic dinner for two or a chuck wagon dinner afterwards. And during the holidays, you can sip on some hot cocoa while you make the rounds. Horse-drawn sleigh rides are great activities for couples or families with young kids. Gondola Rides Taking the gondola is one of the most scenic ways to see any place in Colorado, especially in winter. Nearly every mountain town in the state has a gondola or several to choose from. Some gondolas are only available in the summer and fall, while others are perfect for snowy seasons. One gondola ride that is open all year round is the Glenwood Gondola in Glenwood Springs. In about five to six minutes, you'll travel to the top of Iron Mountain with 360 degree views of the valley below, or check out Snowmass Village with the Elk Camp Gondola that takes you to the summit for epic photos or skiing. Winter Park also has several gondola rides to choose from, whether you're hoping to ski or simply enjoy it for its gorgeous views. Gondolas are a great way to explore the mountains year-round, even if you aren't interested in skiing or snowboarding. Speaking of skiing and snowboarding, a list of the best things to do in Colorado in the winter isn't complete without skiing or snowboarding. From Winter Park to Aspen and Steamboat Springs, each ski town offers a unique vibe and stellar ski trails. Many Colorado ski resorts have as many as two to 3,000 skiable acres, with Vail having more than 5,000 acres to ski and snowboard its trails. In other words, the state has no shortage of ski resorts and mountains for skiing and boarding. And there are plenty of ski slopes that are indeed on the smaller side in comparison to some of the really big ones. And I have found even if the skiable area at a mountain is one fourth the size of the bigger ones, it can feel like you have the entire 800 acres to yourself because the lack of crowds and lines at the smaller, less popular resorts like Powderhorn, Crested Butte, or my favorite, Monarch. And at the end of the day, you can enjoy a hot beverage and delicious food at the ski lodge or downtown village. Then let your muscles relax in one of the many natural hot springs pools peppered throughout the state. Snow tubing. If you want to hit the mountain and feel the wind in your hair, but don't want to deal with all the crowds at the slopes, have family members too young or too old to ski, or you simply don't have an entire day to commit to it. A popular spot in Colorado for tubing is the Tubing Hill at Frisco Adventure Park, but there are many other ski resorts and towns in Colorado that have tubing hills. Typically, a tubing hill features multiple lanes for snow tubing, each one with a different experience. Some lanes are long and fast, while others are slower with a rolling terrain. And if you're staying at a Colorado dude ranch, 
you could be even lucky enough to have the entire tubing hill to yourself, like we did. Ice climbing. If you enjoy rock climbing in the summer, then you may enjoy ice climbing in the winter. Ice climbing is a very unique winter activity in Colorado, but can be very, very fun. And one of the best places for ice climbing in the state is in Ure. Imagine climbing up the side of a frozen waterfall while it's snowing outside. An ice climbing adventure is great for families or if you're a first time climber. Simply book a local tour for additional instruction and professional safety equipment. Winter drives. Much like going on a gorgeous fall drive in Colorado, a winter drive can be just as beautiful. Tour the state from the comfort of your heated car, even if the Colorado weather is cold and snowy outside. Be sure to bring your camera for a chance to capture some epic photos as there's many scenic pull-offs and spots to stop. This is a perfect thing to do in Colorado in December, no matter if it's raining, snowing, or just simply cloudy outside. Be sure to check for road closures during especially icy or cold days, as some highways or steep roads may be closed for an entire season. And don't go for a drive on snowy or icy road conditions if you're not comfortable with cold weather driving. Winter Roller Coasters Mountain roller coasters or alpine coasters are perfect for thrill seekers who want to speed down the side of a mountain. Most alpine coasters in Colorado are only open during the warmer months. However, there are a few that are available during the winter and make for a fantastic experience. The Glenwood Caverns Alpine Coaster sits atop Iron Mountain at 7,100 feet in elevation. This is an awesome winter activity for kids and adults of all ages. During the holiday season, the coaster's track is decked out in thousands of fairy lights and make for a memorable roller coaster experience. Aspen also features the Breathtaker Alpine Coaster, which is open during both winter and summer. Soar on an elevated track at speeds up to 28 miles per hour. A winter roller coaster ride is one you and your family will remember for a long time. Ice castles or snow sculptures. One of the most amazing things to do in Colorado in winter is to visit the ice castles or see snow sculptures. In past years, the ice castles have been available for touring in Dillon and are one of the most magical experiences. Kids and adults will enjoy all of the activities available from the ice slides to touring the caves or taking photos on the giant ice throne. But since the ice castles aren't available in Colorado every year, you can also check out the beautiful ice formations at the International Snow Sculpture Championships. Every year, this event is held in Breckenridge and features epic snow sculptures from ice artists. Plus, it is a completely free event. Walk through the sculptures gardens or ice castles during the day or night, as each one offers a unique and different experience. Scenic Train Rides Take an all the wintry wonderland by enjoying a ride on one of Colorado's scenic trains. One of the most popular train rides is the Georgetown Loop Railroad, which turns into a holiday express complete with hot chocolate and, of course, Santa Claus. Make your way through the Colorado mountains with fun-filled lights and synchronized music. The train cars are heated and feature large windows for viewing the lights and wooded fantasy land outside. The Royal Gorge Route Railroad in Canyon City, which is a mouthful, is another option that is perfect for sightseeing in summer or winter. The beautiful clear dome cars offer awesome scenery and romantic dinner settings. Or ride to the summit of Pikes Peak on the newly renovated Pikes Peak Cog Railway, which is one of the highest cog trains in the world. Be sure to dress warm and bring your camera as these scenic train rides are nothing short of amazing. A train ride is a perfect activity that is family friendly and great for small groups. When it comes to the best things to do in Colorado in the winter, there is no shortage of ideas. Some additional activities you can add to your list include snowmobiling, ice fishing, sledding, and many, many more that we didn't even scratch the surface of. There are just too many things to do in the winter to add them all to this list, but I hope this video gave you some ideas to try out this winter season. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want more like this in the future, hit that subscribe.